Um, somebody asked me what basketball card this was last time. Um, if you don't know, I showed it like three lives ago. It's a Kyrie Irving um, Cavaliers rookie or not a rookie card. It's just his card. I just really like the style of this card and like, you know, this how this card looked specifically. So I actually got a bunch more. Um, I actually like bent them all up <laughs> and ripped them because I wanted to get I saw. OK, I saw somebody on Instagram and they had a bunch of PSA ones. And if you know anything about grading basketball cards, they do like PSA 10 is the best, which means it's like in the best condition and things like that. Um, and so I wanted a PSA one because I thought it looked cool because somebody had some old ass worn out Michael Jordan rookie card and it was a PSA one. So I thought it was dope. So I bought like 200 bucks worth of basketball cards a few years ago and crinkled them all up and I have not sent them in for grading. So if y'all got questions, just type them in the chat. Like I'm just going to be firing away. Even if it's not a basketball question, you can throw it in there. I'll probably at, I'll probably answer it. Um, I just want to fire away, man. I feel good. <laughs> I feel good today. Sometimes I'm not in the mood for this shit. I'm not going to lie, but I feel good today. Um, so first question, how to have confidence when finishing inside, uh, finishing inside. Okay. Pause. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's an insane first question. Um, I think, you know, in order to make layups around the basket, like to do to get confidence in anything it's the same shit i always say i don't know if y'all been watching the lives like please go back and watch the lives they're on my youtube i post them all sometimes i post them late just based on circumstance um but it's the same shit i always say experience gives you confidence every day when you walk your confidence grows in walking when you lift weights you get more confident in lifting weights when you talk to people you get more confident in speaking when you read, you get more confident in reading. Like there's no mystery to the shit. There's no secret sauce. There's no mental hack, which obviously there is. Actually, I'll talk about some of those things. But I think the first thing is, is just like, exp you know what exposure therapy is? Exposure therapy, bro. Get out there and just go do the thing like straight up. Um, I think that's the simplest, fastest way to gain confidence. The, the next way is um, you have to see yourself differently because you could do all of these things right you could have the most experience in the world like there's nba players that lack confidence at times that's insane to me you're in the fucking nba and you lack confidence blows my mind but the way that happens like the way people lose confidence it's because they see themselves different they see themselves differently and so how we might see an NBA player, they don't see themselves like that. Like we look at an NBA player and be like, damn, bro, you're in the NBA. You're nice. You know what I'm saying? Like you're cold. But they don't look in the mirrors and actually believe that about themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's like people that are really good at art. Like sometimes they're insecure about their art or they're insecure about their music that they put out, whatever it is. And like other people might be like, man, this shit is fire. But they don't see it that way. You know what I'm saying? And so in order to gain confidence outside of just doing the thing, you actually have to view yourself differently like your self image and because you ever seen those people who are like objectively bad at basketball or objectively bad at just anything and they have the utmost confidence like people go up and sing karaoke and they literally can't sing but they're just up there and they're confident because they see themselves like as a confident person and as a person that's willing to go do all these things and so that's where they get their confidence from they don't get their confidence from the actual skill itself which obviously can help you but they they just view themselves like as a different type of person you know what i mean like they just they just feel like i'm a like i'm the shit you know what i mean like they feel that way no matter how good or bad they are the actual thing and so you have to figure out a way to view yourself like that and 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 pinpoint the positives because it's easy to look at man i'm not good at this i'm not good at that i'm not whatever but it's like just write down you know what i'm saying all the good things about yourself or write down the most recent successes that you had it's like okay i did get better at shooting or when i when i did go to that open gym that one day like i used to not finish these but i i finished one so like hey one is better than you know last week i wasn't making any or i wasn't even driving last time and so once you start to see it in that light you know your confidence um will automatically start to go up like that starts the process and then it's just an everyday practice of doing that and then you also the last hack is like hanging around pe people that believe in you and that are gonna like pump you up don't hang around people that are always trying to nitpick you and say like um oh well you suck at this or they try to downplay the things that you like or downplay the things that you want to do or be like oh you're a nerd or like all this goofy shit you know what i'm saying like that young people do 
stop hanging around them people bro like you got to hang around people that will give you confidence and I, I, that's the thing that helped me like i had a lot of friends i had i had both type of friends i had friends that would like nitpick me and stuff like that and i had other friends that like they thought i was awesome <laughs> you know what i mean like they'll be like man when you go to the league i'm gonna be your agent like i remember my friend Darrell like saying shit like that you know what i mean like that means a lot to me as a as a young person and you don't think about it at the time but that shit's important bro like that's why i say parenting is the most important because you spend the most time with your parents until you turn um like 19 or whatever it is and so like how your parents treat you matters and so if your parents shit on you and downplay your successes then i can almost guarantee um you're gonna do the same to yourself is there any way to join your team um live in nebraska for the summer but there's also no guarantees because like I don't know if I'm gonna have one or two teams and if I have one team, some people got to get cut. It just is what it is. You know what I mean? So I, I would say give it another year next year. I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna do a lot of shit. I'm gonna be moving around. We're going to do some, some good shit. Just, I got to get through this year, not get through this year, but I got to like build a foundation this year. Like this is the year of foundation for me of like how the entire rest of, you know, my program or Academy is going to go. Um, I'm like, I got a lot of fucking ideas, bro. I got a lot of fucking ideas. I just got to really get my foundation strong. And then we're going to be mobile. We're going to be international with it. (laughs) Just give me some time, bro. Tips on how to not be worried about the outcome and only be worried about the moment. Um, so staying in the moment, man, it's tough. It really is. Like I have conversations with players about this all the time. It's like, you're too judgmental. Like today I just trained a player. I'm like, you're too judgmental on yourself. Stop judging everything that you do. It doesn't matter. Right. Um, and even like, I think there's a few ways, man. And it's easy to just be like, oh, don't care. Like who cares? Just stay in the moment. Like a lot of people say it, but then it's like, how do you actually do that? I think the first way is that the first way is you genuinely have to eliminate other people's opinions. Like you can't every time you think about what someone else is going to think like if you think about oh well this person's going to hate on me or this person's going to say this or what's my mom going to think or what's my cousin going to think or what's my friend going to think like that automatically slows you down and takes you out of the moment because you are about to make a decision and then you took your mind out of the moment and started thinking about other shit about other people about other opinions and all that other bullshit that don't fucking matter um and you know it's crazy and the thing i do because like there's some days literally where i'm like i want to delete my entire instagram and tiktok and like have no one see any of my videos you know i have like small moments like that but the thing like to be brutally honest bro the thing that gets me over that very quickly is realizing like i'm genuinely gonna die and i'm like i'm gonna be 90 some i hope i don't want to be 90 i'm gonna be like 80 years old bro and seconds away from passing away like this shit is gonna be over at some point you know what i'm saying like and so what do i give a fuck for if i'm not hurting nobody if i'm actually on here trying to help y'all and i'm doing this live with 13 people in the room and trying to give out the best information and answering questions every week and posting it to a youtube and making tiktoks and answering dms and doing film studies and working with kids for free and setting up camps and helping other coaches and doing all this shit like then what's it matter you know what i'm saying like i don't give a fuck what anybody has to say quite honestly i i genuinely don't i don't have the time you know what i mean but i I really think like just you got to put things in perspective bro it's like people live in third world countries there's some mom in you know east africa who just walked five miles to get water and on her way back she spilled it (laughs) you know what i'm saying so like i can't even get into a place to care about some of the bullshit that people care about when it's like when just people live the everyday struggle bro i drive past homeless people every day i see people on facebook asking for gas money bro every day saying i can't get to work because i don't got ten dollars for gas can y'all help me it's like, bro, what the fuck do I got to be thinking about other shit and not just be like locked in? You know what I mean? And to be honest, like um, I have a real purpose. Like, I don't want to talk about it because um, it's family related. And I wouldn't know if this person wants me to like say anything, but I got a real purpose of why I do shit. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, I'm not just out here. And so I think have a purpose to answer your question on how to be in the moment. Like, bro, have a purpose and understand that the shit is going to be over. So fucking lock in. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, we we don't got all day, bro. I'm 31 years old, bro. I posted a picture yesterday on my Instagram story that um, showed, like, when we made it to the state tournament. That was in 2011 when me and my teammates went to the state tournament for the first time in our school history. That was 13 years ago, bro. I'm old, bro. I'm gr- I'm growing up. So it's like time's going to move regardless. So fuck all that other shit. Lock in, bro. Lock in, bro. Top five all time. <laughs> I appreciate you. Hopefully I'm not five. I'm trying to creep in that top three. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm a freshman in high school. Does it matter if I play varsity? Not this year. Nope. Your freshman season is totally meaningless. It's all about your first two seasons in in high school should be only focused on how do I become the most complete best player possible. That's it. That I I wouldn't think about anything else. Nothing else matters. You can start out your junior year and start dominating. Guess what? You can just jump up in the rankings, bro. I've seen we've seen freshmen fall off. What happened to LeBron Nash, bro. For y'all old school, what happened to LeBron Nash? What happened to these people? Where's Mikey Williams at right now? I have no idea what he's about to do. This dude's on top of the world. I have no idea what his future looks like now. You know what I'm saying? It's like, so your freshman season is meaningless. Just develop, develop, get around the best coaches and the best players and fucking develop. Like nothing comes before development, bro. Telling you. Um, Do you think you could play at the college level now or in your prime? I played college for a little bit, bro. I was just hurt and I was, um, I was hurt and I was at a bad situation, but like, yes, bro. Hell yeah. In my prime. Yes. I was a college player. Yeah. I just didn't, um, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have a mentor or a good coach telling me like, Hey, this is how you, this is how you, go about things this is how you prepare yourself this is how and and like and i worked my ass off don't get me wrong and like i was in the weight room and in the gym and running sprints and stretching and and trying to eat decently like i just ate like garbage obviously but i tried to stay in shape um you know i played hard i did all those things but as far as like what situation to go to or how to or should I should have went to junior college and then like moved up in the ranks and could have got recruited to a D D one and like how to, you know, um, how to like manage my frustration and like all these other things are the things that really slowed me down on top of my knee injury It's just, and I, I don't even like to blame the knee cause I came back from it. So like after that, it was just, I should have left the situation I was in, but, um, yeah, bro. I think um, I could have been a fucking hell of a player. And I haven't quit yet. Somebody asked me if I quit. I really just took a break, bro. I hurt my foot a while ago. And I was just like, and I low-key need um, surgery on my toes because they hurt. Like, today was hurting. But we'll see, bro. It ain't over till it's over. So I might get some ATG shit. Me jumping out the gym like them knees over toes do. <laughs> You're right, bro. You know what I mean? I'm I'm trying to, I'm trying to just enjoy the game. You know, instead of trying to make a career out of it right now, I don't have that. uh, Momentum is real. I lost a little. I lost a lot of momentum. You know, should I send you my tape? I do tape reviews, but it costs money. Just time purposes. If you want me to review your film, um, send me a DM. Send me a DM and we'll talk. Because my prices fluctuate. I've told somebody at one price and then it's like, okay, I up the price and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So probably about 50 bucks, man. I review some film. I need to make it a real service just because I haven't, but uh, you won city champs. That's dope, but you didn't play. It's tough, man. It's tough. Like what I, Hmm, not playing but winning in some ways it's worth it but at the same time i'm trying to play i believe i could play and win that's where i sit at so um but that's dope man what is winning city champs i won a city championship before i'll never forget that moment you know i played but um when you're not playing on a winning team i don't know how that feels 
I, I've never been in that situation. Damn, I've never been in that situation. Actually, I kind of, when I was in college, um, we our college was ranked. Like, we were cold, and I was a red shirt that year. So, even though I didn't, like, go on all that, I wasn't with the team, and I didn't get to travel and do all these things, I was still there. So, how did I feel about it? I don't know. It was all right. <laughs> it was dope because my friends were killing. <laughs> Let me know when you're in Cali. I always wanted to go to Cali, bro. I'm going to figure something out. I'm going to figure something out. I want to get, I want to play. One of my goals that I set when I was like, probably like 19, is I want to play basketball in every state at least one time. Like, that would just be a cool, like, that would be a good ass YouTube series of like, come with me to the 50 states to play basketball. And. I'm going to hoop in every state and tell you how it goes. I would watch that. Y'all would watch that, huh? Tell me if you watch that. Straight up, tell me if you would watch that. If I literally traveled to every single state and I was like, hey, we're going to go across the country and hoop and just hoop at all these places. I'm going to spend a week in every state and go to as many gyms as I can and as many parks as I can. And then we're just going to go around the country and hoop. Yeah, 52 weeks, 50 states. Yeah, that's doable, bro. That's a good ass series, bro. That's like a TV show, Loki. Somebody should do that. If I don't do it, somebody do it. Somebody take that idea. I don't care. I have too many ideas, so you can have it. Um, How is pro shooting secrets? It's dope, bro. Where's that book at? Oh, the book's in my living room. Um, it's on my website, grandmasterhoops.com. Under free, actually, I gotta fix the free resources because something's wrong with some of them buttons. Um, I gotta, I gotta do some website work ASAP, bro. I don't know what to do. I keep getting tired in the second half of my games and I play bad and soft. Um, you're not in shape, bro. You're not in shape. Straight up, bro. It's it's grind. You got to go to an extra level. Like whatever worked for you in the past, that's not going to work for you now. That's the hardest thing to deal with for players. It's like they might have been nice in middle school. And then with the high school, it's like, damn, I got to do more. Like, OK, everybody was good in middle school. Now, everybody that was on varsity was good in middle school. Literally, everybody that was on varsity was good in middle school, nine times out of ten. And so it's like, damn, I got to I gotta up my work ethic. I got to put more passion in this shit. I got to run more. I got to work harder. Like, you got to do more, bro. You got to do more. I want to become more athletic. How should I go about um, doing this this offseason? Look up ATG. I, I will always recommend them because they're fucking experts in this shit. I'm not an expert. I'm learning from them. But look up like Gota training, G O A T A, Gota, and look up ATG, Athletic Truth Group, with the knees over toes guy. Um, all that stuff's on Instagram. I don't know if they have a TikTok or not. And look up uh, Jump Attack by Tim Grover, the book. That's for like, you got to be in shape to even start that book though. So don't start that if you're like a rookie or some shit. But those three things alone, I can't recommend anything better than that. Also, P90X is pretty good. I'll stand by that. I did P90X in high school. That shit's hard as fuck. <laughs> My reserve coach had us doing P90X, bro. Oh. The man was crazy. But he got me right, though. He was a good-ass coach. My guy, Coach Geiger. Good-ass coach, man. Do I still play basketball? In a way, I'm like, I'm half and half, like, I, I'm tr- the thing I'm doing right now. So I'll tell you what I'm doing right now. I'm trying to get my jump shot right because I took t- so much time off that it like messed with my mechanics a little bit. And so I'm really um, fixing my jump shot in the current moment because like I turn my head. So when I shoot, I turn my head a little bit like this way. Right. And if you've ever seen Steph Curry, like he tilts a little bit, um, a, color, a couple other people turn, but I don't like it. It's super uncomfortable. So I'm trying to shoot from the front and keep my head straight and so i'm really focused on that once i get through that process on top of um you know strengthening my body again and and i'm gonna go to like the ymca and jump in all them little classes they be having just to like work out and shit once i go through all those things and i get back in the groove then i'll probably start playing a lot more and just um just enjoying the game and and possibly um you know see if i can go somewhere and just try some shit and just to say I tried some shit. I don't want to die without saying I didn't try some shit, bro. I, I would be devastated. So um, I'm in the process of playing basketball again. What do I do full time? This TikTok pays me, bro. And I train in person. So like I jumped, bro. Once I was making like enough money to support. 
because I don't I don't pay for a lot of shit. Like I'm low key a minimalist. Um, every time I move, I sell all my furniture. And so it's like my apartment don't cost that much. I don't have a car payment. Um, yeah, all my payments are right here. My Internet don't cost that. My Internet's like a 100 bucks. My electricity bill is like 50 bucks. My phone bill is like 50 bucks. All my subscriptions combined, it's like a hundred some bucks. I ain't gonna tell you my rent, my rent is, but once I could cover the cost of all the things that I need to pay for on top of like some food, um, I fucking jumped, bro. I got the fuck out of my job so fast, bro. So like, I'm in it to win it, bro. <laughs> I'm in it to win it. I'm out of, the, I'm out of, the, I'm out the matrix as you would call it. I'm out, bro. And I'm really getting out. Like, there's some more shit I'm doing in the background. I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Um, pull up to Dallas. My friends live in Dallas. I'm, I'm pulling up to Dallas. I need to. I've been telling them I want to go, but every time I want to go, I jump into some new coaching shit or I got a new thing going on or I'm training or because I was supposed to head coach a freshman team, actually. And so, like, that's why I stayed. I didn't even prepare myself to leave. Um, so if it wasn't for that, I probably would have prepared myself to leave and I'd probably be gone right around about now I, i'd probably be just getting back right about now um but yeah i'm gonna have an apartment in dallas bro best believe i'm gonna be living here and there and be flying like look y'all watch it i'm my bad i'm I'm getting to these late as hell <laughs> y'all would watch it yeah it wouldn't take a year to make though i would just release it every week so like let's say i start off um in like colorado or some shit right once i'm already in the next state then i would release the video you know what I'm saying? So it'd be like a one every Sunday I might release it or something. Like what well, I don't know what a good day would be like. It'd be like a TV show type shit. But every once I'm once I've already left, I release the footage, and so I won't tell you where I'm going next. Um, it'll kind of be a surprise, you know. But it, th- yeah, that's what I'll kind of do. I'll have like teasers. So like my first day in the new state, I'll have like teasers of where I'm at, and so that'll end the episode. So let's say first episode, right? This is how it'll go. First episode. Let's say I pull up to Colorado. And it's like, okay, first state on the on the open gym tour, like we're going to be in Colorado all week. I'm going to travel to Denver. I'm going to travel to, I don't even know that many cities, Aurora. I'm going to travel to wherever. And we can play open gym in all these cities. And then that's going to be the beginning of the video, right? And then it's going to show me playing. It's going to show me talking to the people. It's going to show me hooping. Probably show me like getting scored on all type of shit. I'm showing both sides. I'm not just going to show me doing good. And then at the end, it'll show like, It'll show me leaving and then pulling up to the next state and it'll be like teasers. So y'all can try to figure out where I'm at and be like, hey, um, I'll probably do two weeks in advance. So then y'all can't like um, be like, hey, I know he's going to be in this state. I'm about to pull up. Like, I don't want people to interrupt it, but it would be like, let's say the next state is um, like South Dakota, some shit. Right. So let's say I go South Dakota. I would the be the first day in South Dakota would be the end of the first episode from Colorado. And after I would only release that after I've already left South Dakota. And so by the time you get the teaser of where I'm at next, I'm already gone. And so the next episode would be like, Hey, I'm in South Dakota, pulling up the hoop, I'm going to these cities, whatever. And then the end of that episode would be the city that I was currently in when I released that. And then it would be like that. Fifty weeks, bro. That'd be so dope. Matter of fact, bro i want to do that how can i pull that off i can't pull that off right now next year i'm pulling that off if nobody does it i I promise you that's gonna be a good ass series um but i got so much shit going on that it's hard it, it's really hard actually because I, I actually coach in person so we have tournaments every weekend and shit <laughs> how can i bait fouls like shay and luca i don't know bro i'm not good at drawing fouls i'm not even gonna lie like my intention is to score and avoid the contact and just get the basket um i get fouled by accident so i don't know how to bait fouls if i'm being completely honest pump fake is your best bet and jump into them um anything else bro i don't even know like i used to i was one of them dudes that i could score 20 with no free throws and that was common i was never at the line how to keep the ball protected in the lane as a smaller guard um i think the best thing you can do is you got to learn how to move the ball in the right spot so like you got to know when to have the ball in your hip or when to sweep low or when to bring the ball over somebody's arm or when to do all these different things um 
and it's like you ever like you know how somebody has it's like reflexes bro once you you can feel somebody about to reach like i could just feel it because i have so much experience like if i hold the ball straight in front of me like this the minute somebody's like starts doing this i can just move it to the left without you and it doesn't even phase me like i can just avoid steals just off like instinct that's what people that's what the young people would call ultra instinct <laughs> but it's true like i think you just got to get a lot of experience and know that people are going to reach more times than not in the middle of your body and so if you have the ball in the middle of your body it's going to get stripped so you got to either go low or go high and and just practice and and try to understand and, and trial and error and all these other things when you get in the rob film i don't know <laughs> i gotta do bro this week bro i got so much shit to do i gotta edit all the games that we've been playing in the league i gotta put up clips because i haven't posted literally anything to the league and our league is about to be over i haven't posted anything like which has really been my fault i just haven't done it um you know i gotta get on my tiktok grind um run some views up real quick before the month is out so i can get paid i gotta do a couple academy i have not released a single academy video this month and I'm actually disappointed that I haven't done that because like the people that pay for it, I, I apologize. I got really good videos in there. It's still worth like what they're paying, but it's like, I just need to do more for them. You know what I mean? I'm always going to feel an obligation for them because it's, it's important. You know, the Academy means a lot to me. So I, I really, I want to do stuff for them. Um, that matters. And then, you know, I got to edit our practice footage. My phone is like full literally. So I got to edit our practice footage, get that out there. I still got to, hit up the sock company that i work with jilly socks i don't know if y'all seen the videos that i did with them last year i gotta hit them up and, and tell them i'm about to finish our contract this year um tell them what my plan is so i gotta do videos for them so bro when the, when you're getting the rob film you'll get it when you get it bro could be tonight loki i ain't gonna lie i could just on a whim just psh. you're french that's dope that's dope one of my friends is french my friend will that i was talking about he's french he's from french from france my bad <laughs> i'm kind of slow uh i did drop out of college <laughs> uh if i come to minneapolis you gotta come to minneapolis i will bro i will i'm open to going everywhere well most places i am black don't forget that <laughs> But hey, I could pop in, get a film film review about cuts. It's a, actually that is um in the academy. I do have an entire hour long video off ball offense in the academy. I have, I think my best videos in there right now is just isolation. Like I have an hour long video on ice. All my videos are like hour long, so I have one on isolation, one on off ball offense and like movement and things like that and how to get shots off off the ball and cut and things like that, and then isolation defense and the next thing i really need to do to like complete that cycle right there is the off ball off ball defense like i really got to do that video i really got to do that video i've been putting other videos in that place just to like fill some stuff in um like i did a i did a film review on like cooper flag versus the boozer twins i did the real madrid versus spain under 18s i did another video that's in there that i can't remember um i got some good shit in there bro i ain't gonna lie if you're not in the academy i don't i mean i don't know what to tell you bro you're sleeping is Wemby defense player there yes who was on the live last time i said that remember i said that and now what's crazy man i say so much shit like three months before it becomes a popular conversation just in the zeitgeist and i need to start putting it out there before everyone else because sometimes i forget the only thing that i've saved that's like that is when I said Bol Bol was good, I was free Bol Bol when he was in Denver. Um, and then I was pissed that he didn't get to go to the Pistons because he failed that physical. And then now there's a few people like Shaq jumped in. There's a couple other people like, hey, Bol Bol can play. Like the ball don't stop dude posted about him and all these other things. Um, and so I'm always ahead of the curve. Like I posted about Denver being an issue. Like I was, this was 2020. I still have that tweet somewhere. I got to find it. But I posted about Denver. I was like, they're going to be a real issue in 2022. Sure enough, 2022, 23, they won the title. So um, I really got to get my shit out there. I think my next, my last prediction was the OKC thing. I think like 
they're gonna be a fucking issue in two years, and they're probably gonna be a conference finals, finals type team. Uh, in twenty, what's that? Twenty twenty four. So in twenty twenty six, the Oklahoma City Thunder will be in the NBA Finals. Um, if they're healthy, if Chet's healthy. And what else did I say? Yeah, I said I said Wimby, Defensive Player of the Year. Beginning of the year, I predicted the Lakers are gonna have problems. Um, before Draymond got suspended, I said he's gonna be an issue for the Warriors. More harm than good. I have that video on TikTok. I said they got to make a real decision about Clay Thompson, that he actually needs to come off the bench, and they got to play some of these other young guys that are actually good. Um, so I'll be tapped in, bro. I'll be knowing. I'll be trying to know anyway. You love my basketball vids? Thank you. It's crazy to me that I'm not bigger than I am because I think I'm just – I care more about in-person training than online. If I Like if I stopped collaborating with people and I stopped – doing things with anybody else and i only focused on my shit only um i'd be way bigger but it's like i'm i got my hands in a lot of shit and i coach real teams so it's like that shit has to take priority you know what i mean like i care about them kids the kids in my city so i need to take care of them i gotta set up the open gyms for them and and do the league stuff and do the training and do all this stuff am i playing the new college football game no, because I don't have a system anymore, which I do want a system. I do want a system. I streamed the game probably a couple times. I streamed FIFA like probably four times on my Twitch. I don't know if y'all gonna go look at my Twitch. Um, I have a tw- I have an account on probably every social media. But if you go look at my Twitch, I, there's probably like three FIFA games on there. <laughs> uh, tell me if you find it, by the way, if anybody finds it, leave a leave a DM. Do film on the ins and outs on basketball what do you mean i don't understand what you mean like of the ins and outs of like what i do when it comes to like training and and coaching and league stuff and all that i'll do that i'll do like a what the fuck does jj do all day that'd probably be the (laughs) that'd be the title of the video (laughs) the fuck does jj do all day be like three hours of me in this chair editing on my fucking phone um how do you fail a physical? Sometimes if you have like a, a certain injury that's not healed all the way or there's a, there's a couple different thing different things. I don't know deeply of like how they evaluate you, but they really look at everything of like whether you got a heart condition. Like somebody found out, I can't remember who it was. It could have been LaMarcus Aldridge or somebody, but someone found out they had a heart condition because they were getting traded. And so they went through the full evaluation of a physical and they're like, hey, bro, you got a fucking heart condition. I'm not trading for you. And they had to like go to the hospital or some shit like that stuff happens. And so it's just, it's a bunch of different things that they, that goes into a physical. Like they really like the NBA is like the feds, bro. They will find out everything. Why can only certain dunk, certain players dunk from the free throw line? I don't know, bro. I don't know nothing about dunking from that fucking far, bro. I didn't dunk till I was a junior and I was room grazing. I got my first dunk in the game in a JV game. No, barely hit my wrist on that shit. But I was jumping out. I used to catch oops in college. I was jumping out the gym after that. <laughs> but I never caught one in the game. In co- Actually, I did have one game dunk in college against the JUCO. Um, but I never caught a oop in the game. I did caught a couple of oops in open gym. But I really, I wasn't really a dunker like that. I would dunk it if I could, but I was like half finesse. I was mostly finesse. I was probably like 70% finesse, 30% physical offensively. I was only physical if I needed to be. But I was just like super crafty because I used to be slow. And so my footwork was on 10. Pump fake like a mug. <laughs> that was my game. What do I think are their most important skills in basketball? Footwork. IQ. And competitiveness. And everything matters though. Like you got to learn how to pass. Defense. It's fundamentals, bro. But utmost importance, IQ trumps everything. Always and forever. How did Booker get a mid-range? He didn't really have it in high school. Train it, bro. Train it, train it, train it. I didn't have a mid-range until I was a junior. My mid-range and my sophomore sucked. So I spent all summer shooting all mid-range. And it became my best shot. So that's like, it's literally the easiest way. All right, two more minutes, then I'm out. I already went over the time limit. It's been, how much time has it been? Can't I see? 45 minutes, yeah. Throw your last questions in because I'm out. I'm hungry. I want to go eat and I want to edit some shit. I got shit to do and it's bright as hell in my room. I'm going to turn these fucking lights off. 
Um, I probably have an ending rant. Let me let me think of a good rant. I always got to end with a good rant. Do y'all be watching the lives that I leave up on YouTube? I wonder who watches those. I they do get kind of like fifty views or something like that. So I probably have a niche community of people that just enjoys the lives. Like there's people. I don't know if y'all know who Gary V is, um, but he used to have this show called Ask Gary V. And so when I was young, when I was young, when I was t- <laughs> when I was like twenty, what year would that have been? Like twenty seventeen, eighteen ish. How old was I then? Fuck, I don't know. Yeah, when I was like twenty five. I used to just like binge his show. I just remember being in my room like and just being in the corner and my TV was fucking massive and I'd have all the lights off and I'd just like sit back and like eat and just binge his show and just like ask Gary Vee. That show was, that was like one of them things. So I hope people do that with this show. I would love to be that show for other people where they just like sit and watch. Um, I think they got to be a little bit more quick hitters, but at the same time, like I edit, I edit them pretty good. Um, so there's not a lot of dead spots, like all the dead spots y'all experience on the real live. I really try to cut those out for the video. And so I don't know, maybe when I'm massive, uh, when my when my academy and my audience is huge, there's going to be people who just like rewatch all 300 lives <laughs> that I have. And if that's you right now and it's I'm recording this in 2024, so it's 2027 and you're watching this and you're binging all the lives. I appreciate it. Um, I gotta say that for, to the future people, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, my academy is international, and hopefully, I'm living in Spain in some obscure city, and no one can find me until I decide to be found. That's my plan. If y'all don't know, I want to. I really want to live in Spain and just be out of here, and just have a fun but uh, relaxed life. I don't really want to be on the scene and then the city and with all the sleds and the courtside and all that bullshit. Fuck that shit. Looks boring. Looks boring by my standards. I just want to watch basketball on a medium sized TV and go outside and ride my longboard and skate and shoot hoops and teach people how to shoot hoops and coach some weird eighth grade middle school basketball team. And what else do I want to do? I kind of want to have a family at some point. I could see it. Kind of scared though. The way these marriages be going, boy. Fuck. It looks treacherous out there. <laughs> That's why I'm going to Spain. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I need to log off. Um, <laughs> what else do I want to do? I don't really have much. I do make a vision board. I don't know if y'all know, but every year I make a vision board. I'm not going to open it. I'm not going to let y'all see it, but it'll help me remember what the fuck I actually want. I don't want a lot. I'm really not like, I'm not a person that's like, I want three cars. Actually, I do want three cars. I want a, uh, I want one of them old. There's like a Toyota van. I can't remember the name of it. Fuck. And then I want to obviously a Prius. That's what I drive right now. Prius is dope. If you don't have a Prius, you sleep. And then I want a Tesla. That's it. Anything else? Actually, I do kind of want some type of SUV to, like, drive through. Uh, yeah, bro, I want to make videos. Oh, I want to have a, a a clothing studio or, like, a design studio. I like designing. I really want to get good at 3D printing for no reason, just to make shit. Um, I want to have my own print shop so I don't have to ask another print shop, can they do my idea? I just want to do my idea. And yeah, man, just live a simple life. Um, that's it, bro. Have a have a farm. I plan on having a farm, actually. Why won't this cord be unstuck? Okay, that's weird. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to have a farm. Um, what type of animals? If y'all had a farm, what animals would y'all put? I would get like a... I definitely want some pigs. I'm going to have... Didn't I draw... Was anybody on live when I drew out <laughs> my my plan for how my uh land is gonna look because i'm gonna have a farm and i'm gonna have some pigs some horses some cows obviously um a couple chickens definitely gotta have a dog and cats like no brainer i need a goat gotta have some goats some sheep definitely gonna have to hire some people but then i want like a there's this dude in iowa who has this sick fucking like aquarium looking place it's like a greenhouse mixed with like he has the ponds in there i don't know what it's really called 
but he has like all these fish and like all these plants and it's like on his land it's 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 so far i'm actually i messaged him last year i wanted to go up and see it so this summer i'll actually go up there and i'll if he lets me video like i'll show y'all exactly what i'm talking about if y'all remember um but i'm gonna go up there and visit his shit and ask him how he built it but it just like crazy amount of fish like the landscaping the rocks um all these type of things like i want to have that what else man what else that's pretty much it bro that's pretty much it but then sometimes i like the city so like i'll fly into dallas and live in some building on the 60th floor downtown (laughs) i like the mix i need to mix them both but um my ending rant i'm gonna give you all a nice little rant something to think about i think (sighs) what's something important give me if you appreciate you um liking my wall bro if you want to know where i got these pictures by the way there's this book it's literally called the basketball book there's a college one and there's a there's a pro one um i just tore out my favorite pages and put them up bro but go look up the basketball book and you'll find all these pictures in there um but i think you know the most important thing bro is you really gotta just prioritize what matters bro i think that's the hardest thing to do when you're young um and that's the thing i try to get all these kids that i work with to understand is like what are your priorities um like what do you actually want to happen and because once you understand what your priorities are and what you want to happen and and how you want your life to end up you know then you'll know like you got to do certain actions in order to get there you know what i mean like you can't just hope and pray like the amount of people i see if you scroll through tiktok enough there's enough people who will be like i thought i'd be rich by now i thought i would be this by now i thought i would be that by now and they thought it was just gonna be fucking magic and they didn't do any of the actions that actually correlated uh to align with the path to get you there and so i think it's not enough to just know what you want it's it's you really gotta like be thoughtful and understand that everything matters like every action you take matters every action you don't take matters so if you sit on your ass for four years procrastinating that matters that counts you know what i mean but if you get up every day and you're like i'm gonna focus on this today and you wake up the next day i'm gonna focus on this today and again and again and again like you gotta make it at some point like you can't not make it unless you just um you know are doing things wrong or you're not you don't have the right perspective but only thing that matters in life is action so especially when it comes to basketball only thing that matters is action like are you actually in the gym or are you just dreaming about being an nba player one day and your ass is playing 2k like are you actually training are you trying to play for the right teams you know um are you talking to the right coaches it's it's action bro that's it bro that's all i got to say bro action i get on this live that's my action to make basketball to fix the but the thing i always say i'm trying to fix the basketball world i think that we're like full speed to a dead end um as as far as like how usa basketball is going and so what am i doing about it i'm on live talking to 10 nine people somebody dropped out (laughs) 10 people um (laughs) you know i'm chopping up videos i'm doing the nybc league um i'm training i'm making teams coaching helping other people build their program like action bro i can't just sit here and complain do shit